Hello and welcome back to Skyrim with yours truly Lord of the Zidu the Mad Hi Lord of Flows, this is Harbin Jeff, this Piffening, level 21, boxes, man, and master of Paul Sanity And all around neutral guy, who are these people? Espoon and Delphine? What are they doing here? Explain yourself right we now We must succeed We should get started, Alduin is only getting stronger I suppose they are making a public appearance Huh Unexpected, but not unwelcome. Well, that's the grey beards. Arnger? So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. This was a peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Mm, very well. That way, I probably should have not have brought Tendrin with me, but hey. So, Arngear, is it? You know why we're What's here. our next move? Are you going to let us in or not? Right here. You're, You're going to hell right without me. You're not welcome here. Suit yourself. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Where are you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphine, we're not here to rehearse your grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Alduin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Alduin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh. Very well. You may enter. Good. Let's go. You stand guard here. Let the uh, only permitted people pass. Pass. Whatever. Step everyone else. Ah. This is quite the gathering. Is this my chair? No, my chair is... All the way... This one? Nice! Bottoms up! I'm glad that I'm finally traveling with someone who seems comfortable. Where the fuck are you and why are you talking, children? Why do... Now that everyone is here... Please take your seats, so we can begin. Yes, do it. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit you of- You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do.
Huh, that's actually a good question. What what to do, what to do, what to do. Well, I really hate the Dalmor as much as everyone else, so you're right, the Dalmor have no business here. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, May we proceed? I have something to say first. Whose chair is this? The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able We're to resist. To a temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? I'm glad that Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. Veltrin? This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. How about Riften? It's pretty much... Well, Dawnstar is closer. How about Riften, yeah. Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I Do can I? see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I... I tell you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your I'm pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. 
And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the Dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? Let's hear it. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your so butchery at... Obvious. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? What did happen at Carthwaston? But I think Alfred should compensate you, just so there would be some sort of balance, because you are un apparently unhappy with Riften. Well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. Sorry, Alfred. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alice? Are these terms to your life? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Dalmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. It's Jarl okay. Valgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. How does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. 
Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Ving, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I'm glad you were able to negotiate with us. There's one more thing. We know about her. You know what? Parthenax. The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continued to help you. Hmm? Bugger off. For now. Huh. So, Dundren. You ready to get going? Yes. Uh, follow me. About time. Let's go. Kept interrupting the bloody negotiation. We almost lost Alfred's trust for because of your interruptions. I don't worry. Um, where is everyone else? Ah, oh, Dolphin. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Do I need the Greybeards for anything more? Well, I, I guess I'll work with the Blades later. Currently, I need to go spring a trap. Or is it set up a trap? I think it's for the dragon to spring. I'm glad you were able to negotiate a truce, but I don't trust Ulfric. He'll break his word as soon as it suits him. Elisif. I'm glad you were able to Alf. negotiate a truce, but I don't trust Ulfric. He'll break his word as soon as it suits him. Ah, Espern. Yes? What is it? About Parchernax. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Why does he need to die? Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War. Crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. Where has Alduin gone? Haven't you been listening to me? No. All the old tales agree that he has some means to travel to sovereign guard itself. There, he devours the souls of the heroic dead to feed his power. You must find his portal to sovereign guard before he returns stronger than ever. How can we lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach? Shout for Udavin from the Dragon's Reach courtyard. After that, it's up to you. Huh. Very good. Yes, um, there is someone else I want to talk to. Do the right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. And it's you? A... Not you. Not it you. I get enough delays for politicians. As soon as I get back to Whiterun, I'll get my men ready. That's what I needed to hear. Anyway, I'll be returning to Whiterun now, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.